All right. Whatever. We're back. Dead. Having a hard go of it, really. My summer car is anything but an escape from the perils of the real world. It's like... You think you're suffering now. Try to put this fucking car together. There goes my bus. Just missed my bus. This, <laughs> this is the game. Don't look for me. This is my real life now. What good is anything? Maybe Timo has some money for me because I did drop five of his fucking flyers off. Yeet. Hello, how the fuck are ya? There's, there's the bus. That one just passes through, I believe. I don't know what the fuck it does. I'll be on it one day. Timo, my man! I just want my money. A hundred. It's better than nothing. Yeah, he's like insulting me. Yeah, fuck you, man. Oh, I need something while I'm here. Coffee. I'm having a hard go of it. And uh, all my realities. But at least this one's colorful. At least this one isn't riddled with fucking virus disease if you go talk to the wrong person. Alright, so I have to take the bus, I believe. Gotta take the bus home. Um, pick up the tractor. Summer, 1995. Nickelodeon Gak was all the rage. And there was one man, chilling in Finland, just trying to put his car together. So I don't, need, I don't have a watch, so it's like, the fucking uh, buses mean dick to me. Oh, but at least it says where they're going. I mean, that's good enough. That's good enough, right? Yeet! And the chat almost died laughing at his grandma. What did she do? She bend over and queef? Did it go... Yeah, my, my Gifu, my Wifu, and the van are all fucking stuck in the same ditch, which is where this, you know, the thing is, is like, I don't even know if I have the diesel to get, to get my, uh, my tractor out there, and I lost the diesel can somewhere. I don't know where the diesel can could be. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll take my groceries. 
Because I... The diesel can has vanished, and I'm not going to be able to progress without it. So I'm going to save the game and fix the diesel can problem. She did... <laughs> Yeet. Uh, Yeet says that his grandma didn't make it to the bathroom and peed on the floor a little bit because a cord was in the way. <laughs> oh my god. So real quick, I'm just going to fix the, uh, the canister problem. And then I can come right back in. Yeah, she's getting old. It's like... Um, it's kind of on her for being old, you know? Tell her to live a little. The cord was in the way because Yeet left his fucking Assassin's Creed game station out. Yeet, I would, I, you know, that's your grandma. You shouldn't be laughing at her disfigurement. You should be giving her my phone number. And I come over there and I pretend I'm your grandpa. How about I come over there? But I'll come out there. How's that grab you? I'm looking at the diesel canister or something. I don't know. Oh, you can change the fuel price. You can make it a full diesel canister. I just want the diesel canister. You know. Fucking near me. That's all I want. I'm looking up the uh, so uh, how did you know that she pissed herself? Did she tell you I peed a little? All right, welcome to the world of the living there. Champ, Beast World joins the chat after just having his fish and chips or whatever the fuck. Oh, he heard the piss hit the floor. That's more than a little piss, man. That's like a full-on, like a beast just let out, you know? But hey, good for her. Got a little relief. No worse for the wear.
Okay, here we go. Gonna give it a try and see if see if I found it. I think it should work just fine. Hey, don't wake up your mom. She'll come in there and belt that ass. She'll come in there and fuck you up. Well, hey, I appreciate you uh, saving that one for the broadcast there, champ. So we could all have a giggle at... The old woman's misfortune. Now there's my diesel can, just like I needed. So let me put this over at the, at the bench here. And fill it up real quick. You know, I, I don't, I didn't like having to do that, but if the shit is just gone, what am I supposed to do? Oh, it must be full. Maybe it's already full? I wish it would just tell you, like, it's, it's too full, it won't work. Yeah, it must be too full. I don't remember filling it, but you know what? I, I think I, I did fill it, and then it, it like, ejected out of the world during one of my crashes. It's hard to remember, really. But anyway, we have our shopping. And the bus will be here any minute. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, I forgot that I've still got the technical difficulties up. Yeah, I got my diesel can and I got my, my shopping. Oh, I hear the bus. I can hear it. This is, this is my first time riding the bus. Yeah, here it comes. Faster, hey, how the hell are you? I know you from uh, IRC, I believe. Oh, yes. Hello. Hail to the bus driving man. All right. We're on. Am I supposed to pay? Woo. I just gave you the money. Yeah, I'm back here at the back of the bus. I so then, oh look, he's looking at me. Don't look at me. So then he won't try to talk to me. But he's looking at me like, why did that guy go all the way to the back? Yeah, look at that. Look at that motherfucker. You see it? Oh, he called me down. He told me to stop. Then drive the fucking bus. So your uh, your grandmother, she she pissed there on the floor. Did it get your electronics wet?
Yeah, when you're old and you gotta go, you really gotta go. It'll come fucking running out of you as you're running. Then you trip over some waterhead's game cords and, and it's his fault. Listen to the way this kid writes. He said, no, she made it to the bathroom before she unloaded piss on the floor. Before she unloaded piss on the floor. Before his own grandmother unloaded piss on the floor. All right, bus is moving. This is exciting. I've never been on the bus. I can jerk off back here and he won't even know. Goodbye, Tamo. Before she unloaded she, my grandma, before she unloaded piss on the floor. Unloaded. Unloaded her piss on the floor. Look how shitty this is. This curtain. You, you know what it smells like, dude. You know what it feels like when you touch that. It's just nasty. Nobody touches it. Also, this is where you see the bus come back around. Like, he does this loop. And then he takes us to uh, the highway, I assume. Goodbye, Tamo. Before she unloaded her brown, stinky, old lady piss all over my game systems. I've been holding it in so I could unload it here on the show. It's the Chronicle.su piss show. <laughs> the community. Beast World in the chat calls this a community. <laughs> yeah. It's a community in my ass. So he took a right, which means that we're going basically straight home. That's good. And I can run with the diesel can over to the tractor. It's still going to be a bit of a walk, man. Maybe I'll see that cousin and he'll give me a lift home. For the last couple of days, Yeet has been complaining about his neighbors. He has one neighbor who has six dogs and they're like those fighting pit bull dogs in North Carolina. He lives in Charlotte and this guy is just some shitty old racist dude with a bunch of loose pit bulls no training or anything like that but he's got a couple special ones that are allowed to stay in the house from what i understand and then the other ones oh those are my outside pit bulls and they bark all the time he complains that they bark all the time They're all the time coming up to his fence line and unloading their piss. Those are Yeet's words, not mine.
and and right if this is a community those neighbors are not a part of it they don't get to come in to this sacred circle we're just the good townspeople of this here community and we don't need your fucking did he pass my turn i thought it was back there yeah we're coming up on this bridge right oh no that's right that's right that's fine Carry on, driver. Look at him. Fucking dumbass doesn't even know I flipped him off. He's just driving the bus like a cunt. We're just the good townspeople of Finland. That's the mansion where I got the... Um, what did I get from there? I got the wheels, I think? The wheels are in that mansion up in the attic. There are bees, so I had to go at night. It was spooky. It was like a fucking horror movie. Just to get the, the wheels for the car. And they're the shittiest wheels. You have to replace them anyway. What's that woman doing? Oh, dude, she's beaten off too. She's rubbing her clam. She stopped because... She could hear me talk about Oh, she's back doing it again. Yeah, she's getting off. Let me get closer to her. Oh, I can't get up while the bus is moving, I guess. Oh, oh, okay. You can pull the cord and have him stop the bus. That's that's right. She's about to unload that pussy all over the bus driver. Hail to the bus driving man. What is that? Oh, uh, my stop is coming up. So do I tell him to stop now? He won't just let me out here, I don't think. But my stop is coming up. Yeah, yeah, we're coming up on it. That's that's the little house that you see when you pull out. All right, I pulled the cord. Yeah, that's my road. Okay, he lets you up. Got to get my shopping and my diesel. You can't crouch in the bus, so I feel like stuff could maybe get lost under the seats. Look at this freak bitch. She's the only woman in, besides the grandma in this game, I believe. And she's not a bitch. She's a... Uh, you know, this is the fucking bitch right here. Look at him. Don't look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. That was a nice ride, though. Oh shit, so I have to make a choice. I either carry this or I carry the diesel. I can't remember what's in the bag. Oh, it's just stuff for making more moonshine. So I can leave it by the side of the road. I'll come back for it. Yeah, she's not a bitch. She's just taking care of her needs right there on the bus. But if I was to do that, it would be a big problem. And I, what if I uh, gave her the, um, you need some help in there? Hey, I noticed you were rubbing your clam. I was wondering if uh, you needed an extra hand. Maybe I could finger you with my penis. Right here on this bus. And then the bus driver would wish it was just hand gestures. So I can keep my thumb out too while I'm running. So if I if we do see the cousin, he will um, he'll stop and give me a lift home. So I'm like I'm j I'm hitchhiking, you know.
Could die of thirst on the way. I hadn't considered that. <laughs> but he'll probably pick me up, and even if I'm dying of thirst, I'll get home. Oh, nice. You're making some breakfast quesadillas there. Beast World, good for you, man. There, nothing beats a homemade quesadilla. Just like Granny used to make. She'd go to press the quesadillas and exert too much core pressure and unload a little piss on the floor. Everybody would have a good laugh and we'd eat up. Can't let the stench of piss in the room get in the way of enjoying the, one of Granny's quesadillas. When I was a little kid, this is a true story, I, I asked my Granny for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? She's an old woman, like a gross, mean old woman. And um, just like when I thought of Granny, I just thought of like ointments and creams and dead skin cells. Like I didn't, like there was nothing at all like nice about Granny. So uh, <laughs> it caught me completely by surprise as I came around the corner. I was playing PlayStation and I wanted to check on how my sandwiches were coming along. I really wanted these sandwiches and I looked into the kitchen, into my horror. She had the fucking uh, I watched her put the the spoon for the peanut butter. Uh, she put some on my bread. She put it in her mouth and she pulled it out and her loose lips like stuck to it and, and she put it back down in the peanut butter jar and back on my fucking bread sandwich. And I, dude, just the, the sight of it made me sick. And then she gave me the sandwich. <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't remember what I did. I feel like maybe I ate the corner of a bite or something where there was no peanut butter. And I just said, oh, that's good, Granny, but oh, I'm so sick. Got sick stomach now. Can't eat. She was, just, she was mad at me for well, wasting it. You're waiting. Where Ma's a little girl, we didn't even have jelly. And I, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, ridicule me all you want. I'm the only person who's too young to know why we shouldn't like you. So, oh no, I, I might die of thirst. Shit. Yeet, are you complaining that my thumb is all fucking mangled looking? It's just a long thumb, dude. That's what you get from working on the car all day. And we 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 really need to run into our cousin because uh, I might actually die of thirst on the way. So what I'm going to have to do next time if I die is buy beer in town. Beast World lives in the United Kingdom in a flat with his mates. So it's probably early afternoon over there. Or no, no, it's early morning. Nah, he would wake up in the afternoon. He's making breakfast quesadillas, but it's afternoon. No, they might only be like... What? Seven hours or something? Five hours, maybe? Yeah, why are you awake right now? It's 10.20 for me, too. Here, yeet. Live from New York. It's Sunday night. So this, these are the train tracks. Can you take the train? Could I, be, could I be jumping off the train through here? Oh, there's the train. Well, let's at least wave to the train. Yeah, here it comes. Wow.
Yeah, I'll probably die of thirst. I don't know. I don't know how long you can keep it in the red for. God, I know I'm gonna fail. Jesus Christ, man. Yeet says, I know I'm gonna fail no not November. Is that because you just saw your granny pissing? And like, you gotta run straight to the fucking bed now? Crank that hog? <laughs> Remembering the sound of her, her labia opening up. What else do we know about Yeet? Uh, oh. Oh, Yeet says, no, it's because I'm the only boy in my class. And I get boners all the time. That's hilarious, dude. You know, it is kind of a curse, though, too, because if you're the only guy, the girls are going to look at you like, oh, Dude, we're not even going to compete over... Like, that's one fucking guy. Like, it's beneath them to compete in that way for just some random. I don't know. It, it would almost be better if there was a second guy there that could take some of the heat off of you. And then it would be, like, a little bit more off to the side. Kind of a, you know, an ordeal while they, while they draw the attention. So I just walked by uh, some of my trash that I leave behind, which means I'm pretty close to the house. I was a bit of a wallflower at the school dances and everything. Um, but I did dance. And uh, the social pressure of the whole thing was just so overwhelming that I, I couldn't imagine getting a boner. Fucking sweaty and nervous and like uh, judgmental motherfuckers around me, teachers that hated me. Hey, let's, let's see this motherfucker like navigate the social world, you know, since he's so good at blowing off school and everything. So like I could even feel the teachers like pulling for my failure. It's 3.30 a.m. in Blighty. Yeah, it's the middle of the night. Why'd you just wake up? Blighty? <laughs> you live in Blighty? Is that near Pestilence? Hey, it's the fucking motorcycle, man. Holy shit. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna fucking make it. I'm gonna survive. If I don't get in another accident and die this way... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I, I died. I died of thirst. You gotta be fucking with me, dude. <laughs> I should have drank some of the diesel. Well, now I know to bring... Uh, beer. I know to bring beer along. That is nice music that they play as you die. Whether it's dehydration or being the passenger in a drunk driving accident, they play this nice music. So we're back at the church. It's like Tuesday night now. I'm filthy. And I'm walking to Tamo's. Hopefully he's got some beer for me or else I'm just going to die of thirst again on the way. Um, no, he's got the bar open now. He's closed his business, and it's just the bar open. But I could probably buy a drink and carry it with me, right? What has he got? Beer? Okay, yeah, I can bring the beer. Seems like you're starting to drink for the third leg as well.
Kyllä, sinun se on noin nuoreksi miehet ihan miehen otteet tuohon kaljajuontiin. So we got a few beers here. I can drink those on the bus. And I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and eat while I'm here, you know? Oh, that's, uh, that's Boogaloo Bob. I, I've seen him around town. He, he lived at my place for a bit. I pissed on him, I threw batteries on him, and uh, he ruined the back room. And here he is, alive and well. So, you know, it's the little things, like you, uh, I took care of him, and I get to see him live another day. I saved the motherfucker's life. Vassar, there is a lot of charm to the game. It's, uh, it's a really, it's a nice, pleasant, kind of, uh, chill vibe. It's a chill vibe, you know, like, uh... Oh, I'm, I'm on their table. We were just sussing it out, just... A little vibe check. Oh, there's Tamo. He's microwaving it. Tamo. Can, can I shop over here? Thank you, sir. Oh, I, I drink too much beer. All right, here we go. Oh shit, there's the bus. Come on, get there. If I buy my ticket, I think he'll wait. How long has he been here, I wonder? I need this beer, or I might die of thirst again. Alright, we got it. Oh, he's complaining because I'm trashing the bus. Oh, I can't reach that beer. Fuck. Oh, this is the problem. You can't crouch in the bus. Oh shit, I'm not going to be able to get the beer. Maybe if I enter passenger mode, I can, like, sit down. Get the fucking beer. Nope. I should have held it in my hand. Alright, well, I'm sure there's got to be some way to, like, look through the bus or something. Yeah, how does the beer belong to this guy now? Just because, like, bad luck for me, I guess? Okay. Well, this is uh this is just another bus ride, so I'm going to take a, a second and you know, rearrange some of the stuff in my room. Hang on.
We're just about uh fucking and sucking. Yeah, there's you know what I'm thinking is I can once he lets me off the bus, I'll be able to like lean through the bus wall and snatch the bottle away. I'm pretty sure that's what I can do. So in another horrible development, the sun is going down, and uh, that'll be an added challenge to getting home. As the sun goes down, we, uh, <laughs> we're going to have fewer clues as to uh, where we are on the road. And I'll have to keep a better watch. At least I know that once I hit that bridge, I can I can start to look for the little house out in the darkness. And hopefully it won't be pitch. Like, I, I should get home and not pitch black. Or at least to the bus stop. And then if it gets pitch black, I might just have to wait for uncle or cousin or whoever to pick me up. He's going to be drunk because it's going to be the middle of the night and he's driving. It's really this game is is the hardest it's ever been right now. Like I don't have any of my vehicles. I I almost want to just swim. Swim the whole way. Yeah, maybe you should, you should like rub one out right before class, so that you're not the only, uh, you know. In the in the chat, Beast World is trying to talk Yeet out of this whole no nut November nonsense. He says it's a Catholic thing, introducing guilt into uh, regular old things that everyday people enjoy. Like the people of this community. They're all cranking their hogs. Imagine if a monkey had had this guilt about jerking off. Given what we know about how much monkeys jerk off. How silly is it to think <laughs> that Oh there goes there goes cousin now. He just drove through town. We could have ridden with him anyway. I had enough time to go buy another beer and hold it in my hand. Um, it would be ridiculous for like suddenly the monkey feels guilt. Or this gorilla just beats off and he's like, and he starts emoting shame. Don't keep to yourself. You need to be talking to these girls. You got to um you got to be the one that you know, you got to talk to the you go straight to the hottest one in the room. And you know, if you if she says yes, that's good, but if she shuts you down, then all the other chicks are going to know that you are available and that you just took a hard rejection. And they're going to want to be like, oh, no, but but I'll take you. And they'll think that they're, like, catching you from falling. You see. And anyway, that's why you jerk off without shame or guilt.
a gorilla with a porn addiction. When is he going to move this fucking van? Drive the bus, dude. What seems to be the hold up here? Oh! Oh! What? What? Let me in, dude. He's He tried to leave me. This is horse shit. I paid my fucking bus ticket. There he goes. Leaving me. This game is hard. This game is is really fucking hard. I don't know what to do. Might just have to get Liddy. Get Liddy on the clitty. Wow, your teacher is an excellent wingman. To be an educator, you know? Trying to help you get that wet wet. That's pretty cool. That's the cool teacher. Hooks up the students. Oh, here comes a car. I, I think it's Cousin again. Oh, no, it's on the highway over there. Oh, no, it's just the bus again. Not at all about to fucking pick me up. Just hit me. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> this, this game is unbelievable. Oh, the bus is a hit and run driver. Beast World raises a good point in the chat. He says that there's got to be a nice young woman in those classes who uh, also has a shitty neighbor with the fucking dogs and everything. And the uh, violence. Alright, so... I can't tell if it's like... Late in the evening or early morning. It sounds like early morning. The bus is here. I'm going to buy two beers. One that I drink right away. Oh, there goes the bus. Yep. Fuck you. So what you have to do is uh, pay your ticket, pick up the beer. <gasps> oh, he's he's had a hard one. She asked one of the girls if they ever had a boy. She said you should try it sometime. No, she said... No, then she asked me if I had a girl, and I said no, and then boom. The attempted and failed hookup. Oh, wow. That must have been awkward for that girl. Like, what the fuck are you trying to do, teach? <laughs> She's like, maybe I'll throw her to the wolves. Right, here comes the bus back. Teacher really misread that room, huh? I think I better eat a snack, too. Oh, 
Oh, she did this in front. The teacher tried to hook you guys up in front of the class. What the fuck was she? Was she operating a video camera, dude? Does she run a fucking reality show? I think that means I lost, right? Am I playing poker? I got a pair. What is this, keep? Or lose? Okay, so it keeps the one that you pick. I don't know what that means. You think that because she's menopausal, that that's why she uh, is trying to connect these kids? First time I've won anything. Did I actually win? Or did I just keep my money? I can't tell. Oh, you're going in a K hole. That's wild. Might have to um, eat another gummy bear now that I'm home. I just gotta find them. I think the bus is coming. No, it's just a street light. Okay. So we're waiting for the bus. Waiting for the bus, going down a K hole. Gotta find my gummy bears. So you're just about to do, you just had a breakfast quesadilla and now you're going down a K hole. Do I have that right? I never done ketamine. Yeet asks, Rage, what do you think about my teacher trying to hook me up with a girl in my class? I don't know. It's it was a nice gesture, but like why do it in front of the whole fucking room? Like why not take you guys aside if she's serious about it, you know, and be like, hey, homeboy 
Um, Because the girl might have even considered it, too, but, like, her defenses are up because it's, like, in front of the whole class, and then there's this social pressure, and it's, like, she knows that if she she says no, everything's going to be fine. If she says yes, like, that could be complicated, you know, and then everybody's going to be watching you guys because you were set up in front of them, so now everyone's invested in it. It's fucking insane. What the hell was she thinking? I'll get another beer. You ought to go back to that teacher, bring in the bring in the fucking janitor, and in front of the whole room, say, "Hey, janitor, you look like you could use a fuck. How about you and the teacher?" And look at the teacher, and put her in that position. See how she likes it. Call in the principal. Get everybody fucking. Make them agree to a goddamn threesome right there in the room. Timo. I'm T Mobile. I can see the bus stop from here. My guy's like permanently thirsty. Yeet, that's not an option because you, you might come home and get beaten with a belt, I understand. Yeah, this game is insanely difficult. I got so close to home. I was on the dirt bike when I died of dehydration. And it's the middle of the night, so I feel like the bus is not running as regularly. I don't know. That could just be my imagination. But like that, that felt like the late bus that just left. We're waiting for the midnight one. Maybe the nine. This looks like it could be nine o'clock. Because we can still see a little bit of the blue sky, so it's probably nine. Wow, every three fucking hours it comes? Is that the deal? I mean, uh, you know, your teacher probably wasn't trying to hook you up. Like, she wasn't trying to connect your genitals. She was probably just trying to get you a little fuck, get get these kids talking, you know? Are you, are you guys allowed to, like, share your... Um, Whatever apps you use, like share your identifiers. Or do you have to go dark? So 
So there's no organization outside of this classroom? How do you how do the students communicate? Are you not meant to? What are they afraid of? You organizing? Oh, so it's after 2 a.m. because he just shut down the pub. That means it's probably like 3.05. I don't know. Here comes the bus, though. Here comes the bus. Let's buy our ticket. And take the ride. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw one in here at the foot, like that. Ah, oh, that's perfect. And then this one I'll carry on with me. This is my carry-on beer. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this shit? You gotta be fucking with me right now. This is a joke, right? Do they think I pirated the game and they're like making it increasingly harder? What the fuck, dude? Alright, so I gotta go wait for Cousin at the intersection over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. The bus flipped. The bus is, the bus is just done, not happening anymore. It's, uh, I, I, you know, I really don't know what to make of it. I, I've only ridden the bus once and, you know, I'm seeing this. You can say God banned me from riding the bus. That's fair. I'm just I'm just waiting for cousin now. He'll come through, and he'll take me straight to the house. No bullshit. We're just watching for his headlights. He'll be around soon. Why am I being, uh, do people send the weirdest fucking tweets to me? Nothing makes sense. I don't understand why I'm getting all these followers. I haven't done anything. Oh, look at that guy. Just lurking through the darkness. You know what? I think it's... Oh, I hear the bus trying to move. I think it's almost morning. That was the 3 a.m. bus. And we're like getting close to 4 a.m., I think. And I know that Cousin drives through this intersection because I, I saw him before. Assuming he's not out wrecked somewhere, he should be... Like, he could hit me where I am now. But the reason this game is so hard is, like, uh... I don't know, it just, it's, it's pure insanity, you know? Uh, ye I appreciate the offer, but nobody here n wants to know how many boners you have yesterday in your home economics class. Oh, but one, that caused one person to leave. I guess they did wanna know. So uh, you tell them, whoever that was, they can find you. And, uh, he 
he wants to move the bus, but he doesn't he doesn't understand he's upside down. I'm going to I'm going to look online and see if cousin comes through here. I think he does. Oh, his name is Penna. Penty? Penna's brother, no father, is most likely Uncle Kessley. Okay. Well, sometimes it says that sometimes you can die while you're fucking waiting for him. So it really takes him that long to reach you that you can die while you're waiting for him.
Yeah, this is Longmont Potion Castle. There he goes. It's Boogaloo Bob. Boogaloo Bobby. Stuck on a fence. Wearing your women's shirt. Does he go through town? Maybe he did. I'm just imagining it. That was him. No, that was him. I don't think he's coming, man. You guys got any hind quarter? Uh, no, but uh, what else are you looking for? I don't have that. I have some steak. I got some uh, ribeye. Uh, I can't hear. I can't hear you too good. Uh, yeah, you got any shank? No. What are you making? I'm just trying to get cooking tonight. Come to the store and see what I have, okay? You got any tongue up there? How much on cheese? Tongue. Tongue? No, no. That's a special order. You guys got any lip? Uh, lip? No, no. This is a butcher shop. I'm looking to get some tongue going wild. No, I, I don't have no tongue. 
some lint. I don't have that stuff. Which one you got? I don't have that. I, I, that's a special. I can't, oh. I can't hear you too good. Are you going in and out on the phone? Let's get some hip. I, I don't have hip when you talk. I have steak. I got uh, some chicken. What about nose? I don't have nose. You guys got any mouth up there? Uh, listen, uh, 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 you call for stuff that I don't have. Just nose or mouth? No, no, I, I don't have that. Who, who is this? You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm from just around San Antonio. My name's Smiley. You guys got any mouth up there? No, I don't have mouth. I, I have, I have, I have, a, I give you a T-bone. I, I got a ribeye. Uh, Fifteen ninety-nine a pound. I'm trying to get some mouth going wild. Come on, come on, come on. Come to the store, please. Thank you. Hi, meat. I need some cheek for tonight. A shank and some There goes cheek. my boss. A shank and some cheek. What, lamb shank? That's what the recipe calls for. I didn't invent it. I'm oh. just trying to cook it. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's nothing we can do for you, man. What do you got? Uh, you got some mouth up bar? Uh, uh, what the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> this is like a fucking robot? <laughs> Hello, butcher. Yeah, I need some chuck. Excuse me, sir. What's going on? You keep calling the store here. This is like the third time you call here. No. Yeah, it's the same person. What's going on? No, my name's Smiley. I haven't phoned you before this. Yeah, your same number. I'm at a pay phone. I'm looking for Chuck. For oh, tonight. you're in a pay phone. That's what it's going through. Yeah. What, what are you looking for, sir? I need some tongue going wild. Okay, sir, do you have anything better to do? Well, just give me my tongue. Okay, don't I'm... call. Don't call here no more. Listen to me. Okay, do not call here no more. Don't call here. Okay. Hello, butcher. Hey, you guys got any lips up there? Are you kidding me? You keep calling here. What's wrong with you? What's the are matter? Are you fucking sick? Are you sick? What are you talking about, up there? No, you gotta Sorry be to sick. You. No, you gotta Hello? be sick. Hello? Why do you keep calling a butcher shop? Why do you keep calling? What's your problem? I'm not calling anybody. Yes, you are, sir. You're the same person no. called before. No, I'm not. What area are you from, sir? Uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, what are you looking for, sir? I'm not calling anybody. Okay, you sure you're not, sir? Because somebody keeps calling here asking for stupid things. I want to make sure. I don't got to pay for this, you know, I got to work. Oh, seriously, no, we, we, we've been in business for 32 years, we're very serious. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, you have no idea, I'm getting, someone keeps calling in and saying stupid things. And it comes oh, sorry, out of all way no, areas. Not, no, no, okay, all right, no problem, sir. All right, it's I'm not sorry. It's the same person. No, no, it's all right, sir. What are you looking okay. for, sir? Thank what are you looking for today? No, nothing. I'm not looking for anybody. Oh, you're not looking for anybody? Is the wrong number? I'm not calling you, I don't know. What are you talking about? Okay, but you, you're calling here. So what No, I'm not. You you just call me. I pick out the the phone. Oh, okay, there's something wrong. There's something wrong because nobody's calling your number. Anyway, it must be cross line, sir. I apologize. Okay? okay? okay. No Bye -bye. problem, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sir? Hello? I can, take, I can take down what you'd like, and when our head butcher comes in tomorrow, he'll give you a call. And he hung up on me. Oh, yeah. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, I need to get some lip, lip sausage. Come on down, we got it. I've been up there, I didn't see any. Yeah, we got it in the case, come on down. Why don't I come up there and shove you around a little bit? You ever get a meat hook stop up your fucking ass? Me, man. Give me well, some lips and some mouth. We man. don't carry that, sir. Well, I need to what, 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 what part do you understand? We don't carry it. Whatever you're looking for, we don't have it. I need a mouth. All right, go fuck off. Cannons. Yeah, I need to get a little uh, snout uh, and skin for pickup. What do you need, it, sir? I said snout, didn't I? I don't ever know snout. Does your phone work, sir? Yes, my phone works pretty good. Because I'm trying to talk to you, and you're like, what? I don't know. I can't hear. I can't see. When I say when I say that, I never say that. Listen to me. I need to get some tail and some legs. I say I don't have any. You guys big drinkers up there? Oh, God. Everything I say, you're like, oh, I don't know. What's that? I don't no, know. I say I don't have any, sir. I don't have it. I don't have a snout. I don't have a skin. Why not? Because we don't carry. I don't have it. Get lost. Hello. Malking? Hi, yeah, can I take a look at your mouth? You want to me where you look, you want to me where you look. 
I want to look into your mouth. Where you looking with your mouth? Where you looking with your mouth? I mean, I'm talking to, to you. You come and talk to me about looking in your mouth. But I don't know what you want to mean. Where you looking with your mouth? Okay. I don't follow what you want to mean. Hello, me. Hi. Want to get some nostril and some snout lined up for tonight? Ten, fifteen pounds. We don't sell any of that, brother. Uh, I need lips and snout and nose. Pig lips? Yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't sell that, my man. Just turkey necks, turkey wings, chicken leg quarters. We don't sell that. Give me some legs and some tail. All right? 15, 20 pounds will be good. For tonight. I got a cookout tonight. Okay, uh, well, come check us out, man. Oh, I've been there, man. I've been there before. Okay. Uh, How much do you charge for half a calf? Half a calf? Half a calf, please? Half a calf? Huh? Hello? Hello? Yeah, what's up? Oh, this is Jacoby. Uh-huh. Yeah, I need to get some lips, some snout, a nostril, uh, some tails. Just 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds for tonight. Got to cook out. Nah, I don't think I have that much right now, bro. I only get that at the beginning of the month. Maybe 5 pounds, 10 pounds? Uh, I don't have none of that right now. How about mucus, bacteria, anything, anything that, that you, you can put, put in, in a cup? cup? No, bro. None of that. What, what do you mean, no? None of that stuff, man. L.A. Meat, man. Uh, yeah, let me get some skin. Hello? Oh, I'm trying to get some legs, legs from, from you guys, guys tonight. Could your mama come suck my dick for an hour? I'll tell it to you. Buddy, about how your daughter or your wife? How much you charge, Come on, get it. I got something for you. I got whatever you want. Come get it. Look, I need some snout and some nostril. That's it. It's in your mama ass. Come get it. Period. End of sentence. You feel me? Uh-huh. I feel you. I won't feel you real close. Come close to me so I can feel you, bitch. I'm going to come up there and I'm going to get with you a little bit. How's that sound? Come on. That should sound good. Come on. Come on. Give me some skin and some leg bone, all right? All right. Come on. Come on. Get it, man. Come on. Stop talking and come get it. You're a coward. Coward, man. This is I'm fucking up, nuts. I can't. I don't know what to do. Yeah, real close. Come on, come on. Okay, come on. Start driving, buddy. I want to get some skin up there. I got all the skin you need. Come get it. Is that a matter of fact? Yeah, come get it. I got all the skin you need for tonight, right? Yeah, right, come on, get it. Give me some lips, okay? Yeah, I got that too. We got a nigga that eat pussy around here, good as a motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the van is still on, behind the Gifu. Bring it on, Leroy. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm the pussy monster, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, what's up? You want to play games? Come on. Bring it on. Listen, I'm trying to get some nostrils, Bring it some on. nose, and some lip. Some lip? Yeah, you trying to get some lip? <laughs> about 15 pounds of it for tonight. For tonight? Tonight? <laughs> tonight? <laughs> yeah. I got a big dick. You want to eat that, dude? <laughs> I need some, I need lip, some lip, and I need and some, I need some nostril. nostril. And I need some snout now for tonight. <laughs> Nigga needs your mouth. <laughs> Work with me. I'm trying to see if your mouth will go zero to 100 real quick. Give me some mouth and some skin and some lip. We'll be good to go. No, man. <laughs> How much you charge? I'm going to put my finger in your ass. Let me close them for I know y'all white people like that. What are you saying? I'm going to put my finger in your ass. And make it look like a 3D motion picture. When I'm easing it out. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, don't call me back, man. You hear me? You hear me? Go jump off a fucking cliff. No, you should not prank your grandmother. Hello? Yeah, do you have any blubber? What is blubber? Well, uh, that's what I need. Oh, no, we don't have blubber. Well, we do beef, pork, lamb, and goat. Yeah. You guys got any urine up there? Sir? Yes, ma'am. Some urine. So how much you charge? All right, so that how much inspection you need? just opened. A gallon or half a gallon. Tamo should be getting here soon. What kind of urine you need? From a cow, a, a pig, a goat, or a lamb? I need blubber and urine tonight, okay? We don't have that, boo. How about mucus? Oh. How about mucus? Yeah. Uh. I, I can get you probably. Uh, yeah. Mucus? I can get you probably about two good nuts. Slaughterhouse, this is Raymond speaking. Yeah, do you idiots sell urine at all? Idiots. Well, first of all, there's no idiots up here. Are you sure? I said there's no idiots up here. 
Are you sure about that? I'm um, 100. The only, okay. the only idiot that I'm gonna I know of is die of thirst on this right bus. Now. Let me tell you something, buddy. Yeah. Whenever you get ready to call back and be polite, we'll yeah. help you any way we can. Until then, why don't you just blow off? Where are you located at? What state? You're going to be in one sorry state when I'm done with you. Okay, buddy. This conversation's over. Have Look, a good day. I need to get some hemoglobin. We don't have anything to sell you, buddy. You idiots sell mucus? Nope, no, we don't sell anything like that. What do you idiots sell up? Uh, i tell you what I sell. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a trace on your phone right now. I'm just to make a police report oh, that you threatened oh, me. Don't do that. I'm going to die of thirst. Stop doing that. Do what? Don't do that. It's coming. You can count on it. How about semen? You guys sell it? Nope. None of that. What are you doing up there? There's Tamo. I'm just sitting here listening to you. Make a fool of yourself. You ain't going to get that deputy on me, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, don't do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just sitting here letting you sit the and hang yourself. I'm recording every bit of it. Oh, stop recording me. Don't do Too it. Too late. The best thing you can do is hang up and don't call back. Yeah, Finland. Oh, Finland is awful. Uh, can I get a few ounces of tendon for tonight? Uh, I don't know that I actually have any in stock at the moment. I'll be I right back. I do need a few ounces of urine, too, and blood. Hurry up, yeah, Tamo. Yeah, we could do, but the rest, unfortunately, we couldn't do. Just not something that we carry. Full disclosure, I, I'd probably accept some of your own urine. Oh, so, some of my own. Yeah, no, unfortunately, I don't give away my own urine. That's my own policy. It'd be like a conflict of interest, really, working in a place that, you know, sells that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would just wouldn't feel right giving that away. I'd insist on paying you something for your time and for, your, of course, your urine. Yeah, no, no, I definitely understand that. Yeah, no, but unfortunately, it's just not something that I would be willing to do. I'd have to check with my wife, too. And yeah, you know, that doesn't always go so well. Maybe after hours, I could meet you outside in the back and just pick it up. Yeah, but that's always He's at the desk. My urine away to somebody after hours. He won't open. It doesn't seem right. He's at the I'm fucking a good Christian, desk. I assure you. Yeah, no, no, I fully understand if you're, you know, good Christian and all, but I'm atheist, so that really doesn't matter much to me. The flavor profile of the urination oh. and then it's just Why won't he open the but, fucking you know, door? I, mean, I don't know what my diet's like, so it might not be something that you would enjoy. I know, but you're in the business, so I, I assume it would be preferable to my own. Yeah, but yeah. I'm vegetarian, yeah. though. So let me just get some blood and urine, like I say, any source you can get it from in the tent, and I can right. be there for tonight. Sound good? Uh, yeah, okay. I'll tell you what, we'll meet you after, and uh, we'll see what we can figure out for you. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, Good morning, Millingtons. Good morning. Morning. I'd like to pick up some tendon for this evening, uh, ideally. Some, some what, sorry? Yeah, hi. Hi. Yes, how are you doing? Good. Superb. Excellent. Good <coughs> like. How are you doing today? I'm good. Wonderful. So, I would like to get some tendon for tonight, please. Tendons? Yes. No, we, 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 we don't carry tendons. Well, I got a cookout scheduled. Um, can I please pick up a few ounces of urine and blood for tonight? Fucking no, Tamo. Something else. We don't carry it. Not much. You know, a gallon. It could be mixed. You understand? Yeah, but we don't carry anything like that. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Are you? Excellent. Superb. Yeah. You know, full disclosure, you could even supply your own urine and blood. Motherfucker. me. Good morning, Millingtons. Yeah, guy, listen, I just need some urination for this evening. That's it. Are you taking the piss? No, sir. I can give you three, four dollars. I don't, I don't care what you're doing. You, you, you're taking the piss. That's a crude way of putting it, sir. Just don't. We can't do it. We're not doing it. And don't call me again. Well, which part are you refusing? I'm refusing everything because I've never had a phone call like this in my life. Listen, maybe after hours we go off premises. You just give me what I need. I can see him in there. You know, forget it. Go somewhere else and play your games. But I mean, don't play any more on me because I'm getting pissed off. We can work something out. Now. I'm sure of it. I'm confident that we can work it out. Fuck that. Right. I'm out of here. Here comes the bus back. Are you second girl's plan? I can help you. Um, looking to get a uh, tripler. Oh, oh. I'm really trying to scale down for my quadrupler, but I've got two couplers going on my signal and a flipper. All right. Hopefully this just kind of resets things and I can buy some shit again.
This is the the least I've ever done in this game. Just trying to get on my fucking bus. You'll die. If you just get on the bus and go home, you die of fucking... <laughs> you die of everything that you need. Beast World, that's funny. My summer car has turned into a Groundhog Day style purgatory. Yeah, I'm Bill Murray waking up at the church every morning and running to Tamo's with incredible stories about how I almost got home and then I woke up, Sonny and Cher was playing and I'm right back outside of Tamo's. <laughs> All right. I, I feel like I can get in now. Yes. Okay. Fuck you. Alright. Do I need anything else? No, I have everything. Okay. Fuck you, Timo. Why we do not hurt to see a good night? I'm going to put my bags here and hitchhike for cousin until I see the bus and then I'll move my shit again. Yeah, the Linux master guy seemed young while he was attacking those... Um, mainframes or whatever the fuck. That's the kind of shit that you do when you're young. You you commit a computer crime and then you go talking about it online, trying to normalize it, trying to make it like not such a big deal what you just did. Pentesta indeed. So we're waiting on the bus. Waiting on, uh... We're waiting for Godot. <laughs> this is the name of this episode. This is the, um... 13th LPC. I'm just trying to condense that into one tripler, maybe two couplers, and a flipper. Just to condense it. Uh... So, do y'all accept coupons? I mean, if it's something through Radio Shack, I'm sure they would be able to, like, maybe... Match it up like a different Radio Shack website or something like that? Or? Yeah. Bring in what you've got. I'm pretty sure if they have what's available, they should be able to do something with the price for you. Whatever you have, just bring it in and we can see if you can match it up for you. Just bring all my quadruplers in there. Well, I mean, you said your coupons. I was saying if you wanted to see if we can give you money um, to match with the coupons, say, or give you any money off, I would say bring in whatever paperwork you have as far as your coupons. Yeah, just Coupon. give me the money. Give me the funds. Coupon. Maybe I can run somewhere else to pick up what I need. So you'll just have the money ready? <laughs> Yeah, uh, Garrett, what's the limit on the number of couplers I can have when I'm quadrupling my signal? I don't even know. I got a rubber running through a flipper that I'm trying to quadruple, but all I've got are triplers, and I do have a couple couplers, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to scale down, and, you know, I don't have a lot of money either, so I'm budget conscious, too. Is there a coupon or something I can apply towards uh, I this? I mean, the couplers are cheap. How much is the coupler? Do you know what kind of coupler you need? Uh, a rubber. A rubber coupler? What's the couplers for? Uh, for my flipper. Flipper. What does it do? I've got a tripler on it for my signal, but I'm really trying to quadruple it. So I've got a uh, rubber with the tripler and the two couplers to reverse my adapter, basically. So I'm trying to multiply my couplers into my rubber. To be honest, I have no idea. Um, I cannot tell you. I'm not going to make something up. You could tell me. But, I mean... Uh, I don't even... I don't, what does the flipper do? I don't even... Well, my rubber. Okay, maybe my coworker can help you. Uh, I'm not going to be able to help you. Well, if it's proprietary, I won't share the information. Hello? Hi. Yeah. What's going on here? Uh, What kind of coupler are you looking for, sir? We have couplers for... Coax, and we have couplers for HDMI. Sure. Well, I'm trying to quadruple my signal, and I've, all I've got is a tripler and a couple couplers. My flipper is uh, joined with my multiplier and my rubber. So, um, 
how many multipliers can I fit with my divider before I have to get just a joiner? I mean, you could go, you can go the max. Like if you can put all your connections together at once, yeah. then you can go the max. And we have a three-way splitter. I think we might even have a four-way splitter. Okay, but my tripler is going to end up multiplying my coupler, you understand? So my signal will be coupled with the flipper. And plus my coupon... What is the coupon for? I don't know if you're sticklers, because it may have been <laughs> expired. Actually, there's no year on it. It just says the day of one. the month and the day. Essentially, so I'm tripling my rubber. My signal's quadrupled, but I'm trying to run my subtractor through the coupler so that my flipper can adapt to the reverser. And the coupon, I don't know if you're a stickler. Um, yeah, the coupon ends on the 25th, and it doesn't have, like, a valid end date. Yeah. Yeah, it may be expired by now. Yeah, the coupon, I'm pretty sure that's expired. Um, would you need to feel my rubber so that you could best advise which trickler to use? Um, I don't know. So if you're flipping my rubber, my trickler is going to multiply the divider, and my signal will be reversed uh, down to the basic coupler. To that stage. Yeah, I mean, when we're subtracting the coupler and the divider and the multiplier is just going all nuts and your rubber's going crazy. Yeah. Maybe somebody come over and take a gander? Uh, no, I, we, we can't send anybody out to check out your rubber. Oh. Okay, uh, would you please talk to the gargler and maybe he could better explain it because I, I, you know... What do you need? I'm calling from Radio Shack. Yeah. We got a quadrupler on sale that multiplies our coupler with no tripler. Well, that's okay because uh, we got all that stuff. Don't hang up on me because you're talking to one of the big boys from uh, Hollywood. Oh. And uh, we got all that stuff. And uh, Well, you son of a bitch. Press my radio shack. This is Garrett. How can I help you? Yeah, I was calling about that tripler. Oh, yeah. And you were going to talk to the gargler? Would that be okay? Just real quick. Okay. Okay, Arthur, just let him know you talked to me. Crime desk, we got cut off. <laughs> Your phone must have hung up on me. Now, what do you need? You speak English? Yes, I speak English. Well, damn it, you're having a hell of a time about it. What do you need? I got time. This is a crime desk here. And I tried to talk to the guy on the phone, and he hung up on me. Now, what do you actually need? And I spent a lot of time up here at your place. We got uh, we got the bus here, and um, it's time to get on the bus. Thank goodness, we made it to the bus. So I'll keep my beer right here. I got my shopping. He thinks that I'm dropping trash on the bus, but I'm really just... I just brought my shopping along. Alright. Now I'm sitting with the lady. I'm going to keep a closer eye on her. And if she starts to get funky, at least I'll be here for it. She was rubbing her clam earlier, the day before. She's got a little mustache going. She looks good. That's a different lady? Well, she's just wearing different clothes, man. That's got to be the same lady. Look at the bowl cut that she's got, like, Mo Howard. Oh, and there's a clock on the bus. It says it's 11.45. There's also a blinking red light. That might be the tower in the distance. I'm gang stalking her. I'm gang stalking this woman. I know she masturbates on the bus and I'm here for it. I've got a I got a bag of sausages with me. And uh, we'll see what she can really do, you know?
That water sure does feel good. On on old hate sex throat. Hate sack. Yeah, yeah, the bus driver, he won't take his fucking gaze off me, dude. Like, I'm not the only person on the bus, you know? Look at her. She's the one that was whacking off in your goddamn bus. I'm sorry. The bus driver's a good dude. I mean, here we go. He was, that's what he was waiting to hear. <laughs> Finally, we're off. And we're, we're off at a decent hour. I've got beer with me. I've got food. There's nothing that can stop me. I'm going to make it. So what's waiting for me is the... Uh, there it goes. There he goes. He could have taken me straight home. That's the guy that was whacking off in the bus. He's behind me. That sick fuck has been here the whole time. That's him. Can I get up and change seats? Oh no, I'm I'm directly between him and the the woman now. Bus I just caught the bus driver looking at me again. He He's like looking at that thing to make sure I paid my fare. But keep your eyes on the road there, champ. He's driving me by the church. I get PTSD from seeing that church. I just remember all the headlines. Man dies of dehydration. Man dies in drunk driving accident. Man hit by hit and run driver. That guy's walking. He's smart. Stay off this fucking bus. <laughs> Just walk around town like a bum. Like a miserable fucking. No. No, this is a small town. He probably just lives there. See the way he looks at me? He's looking at me right now. So he's got us on this road. I don't... I don't recognize this road. Is this the road? Yeah, this has got to be the road. He's looking at me again. Maybe he's looking at him. The fucking bus masturbator. There he goes. There he goes. See, and he's looking at her. You see, I've seen this on the subway before. The guy is a fucking criminal. And the bus driver is just like, whatever. He lives on my bus. He beats off on the bus. He's agreed not to touch anyone. Hail to the bus driver, bus driving man. If he gets me home alive, I'll suck him off at the end of this. Can I reach the stop bus button? I can't, can I? I can't reach it. I'm stuck in the middle seat. So how do I get him to stop the bus? Oh, no, he'll stop the bus. Yeet in the chat says, one of my teachers hits you in the head with a dodgeball if you fall asleep during class.
when I was in North Carolina schools, I went to kindergarten in a rural North Carolina school, and the teachers were still <laughs> spanking students. A, I saw it a couple of times. Kids would not would be like cutting up during lunchtime or something, which felt like prison. Like, it's like, hey man, you got your fucking chicken nuggets, and like I never had money, so I got like the poor kid lunch. And uh, so like when I wouldn't eat my lunch, they were like, yeah, this kid's fucking got problems. But when the kids that that should have acted right wouldn't eat their lunch, like the the teacher who was just teaching us arithmetic and like how to read or something would jerk the kid up out of his seat and just fucking spank him right there in front of everybody. And he's crying and shit. Like he just got his ass handed to him. One of my proudest moments was uh, later when I had returned to rural North Carolina. I fucking, I like went and lived in the city with my mom for a bit. And then we had to like move back into the town where shit was cheaper for a little while. And um, I was corrupted by things like Beavis and Butthead or Renan and Stampy or whatever. And I had subscriptions to Cracked Magazine, which was the shit. They would write about video games and stuff. It was all satire. And then I had a subscription to Mad Magazine. And so I had my Mad Magazine in her room and I had my textbook open with the Mad Magazine in the textbook. The problem with that move is that no kid ever fucking reads a textbook. Especially not like it's a regular book, like up, like, oh, hmm, very interesting. And Oh, I found a humorous passage in section 3B. And she said to me, James Galloway, you were the first person in my whole career. I can't believe you had the audacity to bring a mad magazine into my classroom. And I remember thinking, I was, I was just so proud of that moment that, that I made a teacher say the word audacity at me. I was nine years old. I think I had, I don't even know if I ever heard the word audacity, but I just knew what it meant in that context, in that moment. And it was so fucking beautiful. So I've asked him to stop the bus up here. This is my stop. And like an obedient fucking servant, he pulls us over to the side of the road and stops the bus. And like I, I said I would do, I would suck his fucking cock. All right, now we're going to get off the bus. Oh, he tried to get away with the beer. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to fucking kill me. All right, so I'll I'll eat my sausage now, and then carry the beer with me, and I can't die. And I will keep my thumb out just in case cousin happens to drive by. It boggles my mind that people can be so bad at their jobs, like pitch f fits and run, just walk out on the responsibility and stuff and, and come back and like still have a job. That to me is just so crazy. Like in all the jobs I've ever had, like if, if you just, you know, derelict, dereliction of duties or whatever the fuck, like you were out, like you weren't welcome back the next day. You were fucking done. It's it's just so funny that like teachers or you know just I've I've encountered it more in New York where in New York you can just pitch a fit and fucking cuss everybody out and then you just come back like it never happened. But they're like, no, no, I get it. The city's a pressure cooker. He was a liberal Democrat. Now, what does that mean in? blighty to have a liberal democrat do they call them libtards over there now 
We're getting thirsty as we walk, but we can just keep drinking beers, man. We're just watching for Cousin. Did he really fuck a pig's head, Cameron? Who's James Cameron? I know he's David Cameron, but he fucked a pig's head on that uh, on that show, Black Mirror. Oh, okay. He put his penis inside its mouth and let people take blackmail photos. Why would he let people do that? Because he was like making a joke like, haha. Was it a, li a live pig or was it like, dead on a silver platter? Was it hanging up on, on a meat hook? I don't understand how getting special favors from someone with blackmail photos over you is possible. They have the blackmail pictures. They're the ones that can call in special favors, right? Look at how thirsty I got. Yeah, I, I could have died again, really. Yeah, I bet England has way more perverse, gross, randomly fucking nasty things in the forms of ritual than we could ever hold a candle to over here in the States. What is that up there? Oh, that's a rock. Do you think that that's what Jeffrey Epstein was? That that was just this big uh, political control machine? It was like, hey, you can um, rape kids with me. But then, like, you've done the the kid raping dance with the devil, and, and now Epstein has control over you or, like, connects people that want control over each other with these uh, ties. That's like some old-school fucking Game of Thrones type of shit.
do you think do you think it's possible for a guy to be at the top of any such imaginary pyramid where all the control funnels up to one guy or is the question really just like who's the most powerful person in the world the world's most powerful person raped 80 children with Jeffrey Epstein how does he do it? Prince Andrew raped kids with Epstein, while Bill Clinton, Donald Trump. So many people raped kids with Epstein that, like, they don't use it against each other when it comes up. <laughs> like, it, Biden could be up there being so toxic about it. Like, oh, you, oh, really? Uh, Sleepy Joe? Did you come up with Sleepy Joe, like, before or after you raped a girl with Epstein? And just win, like, every argument that way. You know? Like, oh, Russia uh, Russia did nothing wrong, huh? Is, is that what they told Epstein to tell you? You know, it's like... Just fucking use everything against him. Yeah, it, maybe it is a conspiracy theory. Fucking use it. Like, that's, that's where we are right now. Alright, so I got my beer. I got this fucking shit. Now, as long as nothing insanely crazy happens. I lost my helmet. Where's my helmet? I was wearing it when I died, right? When I hit this pole, I was wearing the helmet. And now it's just gone? So you can't go too fast. That's sort of, uh, or, or else the bees will hit you in the eyes or something. I, I'm not really quite sure. Got it. Now I'm going to the tractor. Keep it a keep it a lookout for the helmet anyway. <clears throat> Maybe I wasn't wearing it. Maybe that's how I died, but I'm pretty sure I, was, I had it on. There's home at long last. I bet I owe bills and everything.
Should I take the trailer with me? No, I don't think I need the trailer. I just need the forks on this thing to flip it over. And I'll, I'll put the diesel in the tractor with me. All right, but having made it home, I'm going to save the game and go to sleep and all that shit. And uh, hope for the best here. All right. And while he's pissing, I'm pissing, and I'll be right back. Dying alone in the hospital is no way to go. I've told people that um, once I go in the hospital, if I ever catch it and I gotta go to the hospital, there's all these instructions for like how to um, take care of everything. I, th I guess it's called a living will. I don't fucking know. Now there he is calling at 2 a.m. I can't go get him. I'm just looking for the flashlight. Ignoring the phone. Oh yeah. It takes your eyes a second to adjust, I think, to being awake. Oh shit, I threw the flashlight. Okay, here we go. I could have even gotten to the phone if I wanted to. So it's almost morning. It's early morning. I will uh, 
bring my snacks and everything. I gotta bring one sausage. I've got beer out there. This is the way you have to do it, man. It's a hard game. Now I'm running back to the flashlight. And I'm bringing it with me. Alright, my sausages are in here, the beer's in here. Where's the diesel can? Oh, it's under the fucking tractor. on top of it. Okay, good. So I got my diesel in there, my beer, and my sausages. Trailer's detached. Alright, I should be good. I forgot to take a shower. I don't think I really need it though. Is there an interior light? No, I don't think so. And we're off. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm, I'm going to make it. How exciting. Tätä kehkaa et voi jättää väliin. Nivalan tuiskulassa 15. heinäkuuta. E2B Digi. 
I tried to put on PBS NewsHour for my papa because all he watches is Fox News. I was like, I wonder what will happen if he actually watches actual, real, factual news. And he was like, I could tell that he was looking at it like, wait a minute, this is actual information. But he was like also ready to turn the channel. He was like, <laughs> like he just... I don't think he could hang on to their message for long enough really to get it, whereas Fox News is more like everything sounds reasonable in short bursts, like clips and phrases will be stated in a reasonable sounding manner, which is like enough for an old guy. It's like, oh, okay. Well, when you phrase the hate like that, I can palette it, you know, because it's a simple message real simple language and it's just forceful and ab making lots of absolute statements that old people really like. What is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so close to home. Okay. So now I gotta figure out how to get down in there without destroying the tractor. Because once the tractor's fucked, that's it. No more game. Here's the differential lock. <laughs> it's not gonna turn because it because it's oh no maybe i can get it
asialistalla muun muassa uusien jäsenten initiaatioriittejä ja kultaisia suihkeiden puristuksia. Ensi sunnuntaina tutussa paikassa älä kerro kenellekään. Tarviiko Sonnisi lypsyä tai lampaasi törjyttää? Lomittaja Erkki Armas Hokkanen on palveluksessanne 40 vuoden kokemuksella. Liuskat kädet ja raaka työ. Erkki Armas vaikeudet lyö. Yeah, I think people take out their unhappiness on like like politics. It's like sports but where things are where like the stakes are high and they can be extra angry. Oh, I bet I could tow that fucking thing. Is there a tow hook here? Right here? Yeah, it has a towing hook. Does the back of the van? It does. What about the front of the tractor? Does it have a tow hook? No, but the back does. Alright, we'll tow that shit out. I am disrespecting this van completely. I just want to put it in the road, you know? Oh, 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 so close. Get it. Flip, you bastard.
Oh shit. Okay. There it goes. <gasps> no! Yes. Alright, we got it. Running out of gas. I can't believe I did it. I fucking did it. Will the van even start after being fucking, uh... <laughs> oh, there's kill you. That's the shit that got me into this mess. What do I have back here? Just booze and... <laughs> That's it. Okay. This is my special bottle up front for some reason. Probably fell through the window. You think my radio show's not for the faint of heart? But that's... That's my target demographic. That's my key audience, is the faint of heart. Right, so I got my diesel back there. Um, yeah, I better turn the lights off. I'll keep the beer in here. But I do need to take the sausages and the flashlight. Oh, um, Kilgore called that guy. I told him I didn't want to talk to that fucking creep. So he called him. Um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I haven't listened to it yet. It's about 18 minutes. Billy was complaining. He was saying that, like, it's not that funny. I'm like, well, dude, you know, the thing about clowns is, like, because you know they're a clown, they're, it, that's a naturally unfunny situation. Why are there two moose under the gifu? What the fuck? They're sleeping. Oh, I'm walking on them. I'm on the Gifu. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Oh, I've got shopping. Oh, wow, look at all the shit I've got. I've got all my shopping. I'm afraid to drive the van back down here and get it stuck again, but I need to drive it. Well, you know, I I'm sh they probably talked for 18 minutes, yeah. And uh out of that there's got to be 30 seconds of something worth hearing, right? Okay.
I'm I'm so scared to drive it down into this shit. I'm just gonna leave it where it is. And I'll load my groceries in it. All the the dead animals around is just too much, dude. I don't know. I really can't explain that. He's heard of Jim Watkins? Well, he's 12 years old. Maybe that's how he's heard of him. We got lots of beer here. Yeah, Jim's been in the news, man. That's like that's why everybody knows him now. Because of this Q shit. The two-stroke fuel, we need this for the uh, moped as well as the boat. Let's see what else is in here. Maybe there's something under the truck? No. Yeah, the, we're, we're in the weeds, as they say. Here's more shopping. All right. That'll have to do for now. There's my new battery for the Satsuma. Oops. Clearly uh, treating it with utter disregard. All this to get the car working, you know? There we go. The van is all fucked up. I can feel it. Can you believe I'm back on the road again after all that? How long did I play? I've been playing for two and a half hours trying to get that right. Two and a half fucking hours. Just trying to get to the vehicle. That's how long that walk would have actually taken if I <laughs> if I had just done the walk with the beer in my hand and the groceries somehow, but I would have died of hunger. Uh, the issue now is that the tractor is almost at a diesel. Yes, Beast World, that's right. At any moment, I could wreck this van again and just be right back where I was. Yeah. So it, it teaches you uh, to respect everything. And what I really need to do to set myself up for that situation again is to move the boat back to town and have it over there. And I can do that by taking the uh, the moped with me across the lake. I can't believe it. I made it.
done all this shopping. It took me four days. I, it was Monday when I was supposed to sell this Kiliu. I haven't been comfortable at home in that many days. The two stroke. One of those needs to go on the boat. There's my sausages. They made it home. Oh, the good battery. And we'll go ahead and put this good battery straight on the charger. Yeah, it's all the way ready to roll. So that's cool. And I still need to sell the Kiliu, which I was on my way from Grandma's house to sell that shit when uh, everything just went wrong. What all is in here? Just chips. I bought potato chips. That's it. Oh, and I need to go pick up my groceries off of the fucking uh, road. Oh, okay. There's my alternator belt. That's cool. We'll be putting that on the car so it can break immediately. I should have bought a couple of them. Shower time. Uh, they've cut the power off. Because I haven't paid the bill. I haven't been home to get the mail and pay the bill or anything. Yeah, I'm reading some jokes on the internet that just don't make sense to me. Like a lot of jokes just don't make sense. Oh, I gotta get the light out of the car. I remembered the light, right? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I gotta keep that in the bedroom. Because they've cut the power off. Well, I'll, I'll walk, or I'll ride down there and uh, yeah, I'm not sure where the helmet went. I might have cracked and broken it or something. It's gone. It's lost. Moped was almost out of fuel. So 
So we got some two stroke left. That'll go in the boat. Yeah, I don't actually know how the moped is pronounced. Yanez, Yanis. I just call it whatever. Everything in this game, I just have to call it whatever because I don't know how anything's pronounced. I know the J is a Y, right? Like, that's all I know. Oof. Power company wants their money. All right. Let's go check on... Uh Uncle. See how things are going up here. Nothing happening. I've got some booze here. A decal. I remember when I was 12, the first comedian that really made an impact on me was David Cross. I saw his HBO special. All right. Um, what battery is that? Oh, that's a bad one. So th this is all good here. So there's a good, good chance to save the game and make everything right. So now, continue. I can go. Steve Harvey's pretty good. So what's the next thing I need to do? I need to fucking go retrieve the vehicles from the ditch. I like I really need to make that shit right before I I go on any further, I think. So I get my sausages back out here. Oh, but I don't have my helmet. Do I? Yeah, the helmet's gone. I think I broke it when I died or something. Like, where do you get a new one? So what I could do is I could tow the van with the tractor. Let's see what time it is. It's 9, 10 a.m., is that right? Yeah. So I can... I can sell whatever booze I've got to the, the booze guy. That's empty. That's what I can do for now. And then uh, I can take the money, go fill up the diesel can again.
in the chat, uh, Yeet is asking, do I remember the way I describe your friend? Yeah, of course I remember that. Y your friend with the creepy voice. First, I think I'm going to dump the gas first into the, uh, the tractor. That's interesting that uh, you like met up with the, your first online friend. I, I remember kind of backing away from one of my online friendships when it became, it spilled over into the real world, like sending letters and stuff. I was like, oh, okay, maybe this is a little too close. I don't think I want to know, know this person, even though he was fine. I mean, he was weird. He definitely had some kind of a weird boundaries issue. So maybe that was... What I thought was off-putting, I can't really remember. And he kind of, like, encouraged me to date his ex or talk to her or something, but... I don't know, it was weird, man. And then we traded accounts at one point. There's a real weird boundary stuff. I would have been uh, 13... Yeah, I now that I think of it, uh she she sent me a letter too that it it was in my video game boxes. I like hid it from my parents cuz I didn't want them to know I had an online friend.
Here we go. I love grunge music. I used to wish I could play grunge music as a kid, but I, like it just seemed like you either got it really good or you missed the mark completely. There was no middle ground for learning. But I loved Alice in Chains. They were my favorite band. I'm gonna pick up my groceries down here at the foot of the road. Black Hole, so Black Hole Sun was my favorite song on the radio when I was seven. I was seven years old and it came on at the same time every morning at 8.05 and I was ready for it. That's how I started my day off, like every day for a fucking solid month. I didn't know the solo was stupid. I don't know anything about it. Oh yeah, this is my fucking moonshine selling music. I got a special one for you, champ. He likes it. He really likes it. Well, he's about to get a lot of it. Oh, that's empty. I drank that one. <laughs> oh, that was empty too. Yeah, we're listening to Hate Radio, the radio show. I drank a lot of these.
empty as well. Yeah. I drank so much of my own product. Almost killed myself in there. These are all empty. How much money is he about to give me? 2210? That's not bad, considering I drank so much of it. 2380? That sounds about right. All right, friend. We'll do it again. Oh, there's Mel Gibson. Um, oh. I needed to go by Fleeteries. There's Cousin. Ran me off the road. Let's see if he's got what I need. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So all the parts are on the car. He's not offering anything for sale. We'll continue on to town. Three kilometers. I don't know if this is the right way. If this takes me to the highway, that's what I want. That's the mansion. fuck is that?
Oh yeah, now we're hauling ass. This is like how you die. You go real fast in the van, you can't control it. I think I see town. Just some red house. What is this? Is that the dance pavilion? Is that town? What is that place? Some kind of farm? arrived in town. That guy wants his sewage done. He doesn't know what a hard time I've been having. This is perfect. It would be cool if I could put even more diesel into the uh, empty plastic cans, the juice jugs. But there's no point, right? Oh, he's got even more sugar? Alright. 
Thank you, Tamo. There's the boat uh, bus we don't need anymore. I could use a cup of coffee, but I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. I can make it home on just what I have. And I, I think I'll leave one of these beers here, too, in case I start to get thirsty or something. Like, why not just leave one, you know, there. Yeah, we got some ween to drive to. Oh, the, the shopping is on me. What a beautiful Thursday. Oh no, I'm getting thirsty. Yeet, someone stole your belt? Your brother? You just get it back from him. My turn is coming up. Oh, 
Uh-oh, dying of thirst. We're not gonna let that happen again. I wrote this song. Uh, I, I took what I learned in college about Adobe Audition and just applied it to Audacity so that I wouldn't have to keep pirating Audition. Same with Adobe Premiere, but it's hard to find an equivalent piece of software. So, uh... I do still pirate Premiere if I'm going to edit anything video-wise. Gosh, we made it home again. Richer. Not as much money as I would have liked, but it's been a crazy week. And what are you going to do? Oh, there's the phone. Missed it. Whatever. So I missed the phone. Who cares? It was just somebody want me to pump their fucking sewage. You know? Every time. <laughs> it's all the sugar that I'm going to be making my next run of booze with. I'll start it... Uh, Friday morning in the morning. Just crazy, man. Still got to go and get the tractor or gas up the Gifu. I'm not sure which yet. And try to get it, I guess, just home first, since it's so close to home. Yeah, a good, any kind of pedal is just, especially like a reverb pedal, that's the shit. 
Um, I would, I, if I ever get back into buying amps and equipment and stuff, I'm going to get a fuzz pedal for sure. Let's see here. Oh, we're very thirsty. Just, just got all this sugar that this is what I make the booze with. He calls it sugar wine. I got enough sugar here to really make a lot of money. There's like at least $6,800 worth of sugar there. And if I just make it in this bucket, like what's going on? It's empty. So yeah, there's my yeast. You can get an infection from this. My next, uh, like, non-essential purchase, basically, is going to be this fucking uh, set of shocks that I'm looking at. It's probably going to be, like, I don't know, 300 bucks for the pair to go on the back of my Chrysler and uh, undo the where the guy put air shocks on it, which, in my opinion, just ruins the, the ride quality. So... So the problem now is if you get the aftermarket shocks, everybody, if they feel soft shocks, they're like, oh, I didn't get my money's worth. They want a stiff ride because they just bought new shocks. So I got to spend a little bit extra and get these premium ride quality shocks that are like a little bit more appropriate for a luxury car. And uh, tires, you know, just on the, the wheels and the shocks alone to get that shit back to where it needs to be is going to cost me 1500 bucks altogether. I mean, it's where it needs to be now, but it's not where I want it, I should say. Oh, it's Grandma! Fuck you. She's probably like, hey, I pissed myself. Could you get over here and fucking help an old bird up? Come wipe my ass and help me have a little dignity, or are you just going to laugh at me? All right, so now I can lay down. Are all my lights off? Yeah. What about this one? Suck that cigarette all the way down. And go directly to sleep. There's Bobby Euchre, MLB announcer, and Chronicle.su, your source for all things fulfilling and true. That's where you get your... your real fake news right there at the Soviet Chronicle. It used to be called the Soviet Chronicle. And this is the cover from Marx and Engels, uh, what do you call that? Communist Manifesto. I thought it was cool. I picked that up in a uh, Borders bookstore. I ran the coffee shop there. Okay, here we go. Going to sleep. Beautiful. Slept all night, clean into Friday. Now it's early Friday. Oh, that's the beer in the window. My flashlight should be right around here. It's always so hard to find the flashlight. There it is. Bobby Euchre. I'm wondering what to put here where that Setsuma poster is.
early, early morning. Um, I'm really not sure how to get my start. Well, I, I'm still not done. I've still got to go back and put diesel in the tractor, get the tracker, tractor back, and I guess I'm going to have to take the Yanis. But I don't have the helmet, so I can't do that yet either. I've got to take the van over to the dump and see if my helmet is in the dump. That's all I can really do at the moment. Uh, on top of all that, I still need to eat. It's almost 2 a.m. and I have to eat. So maybe this is where I call it. And then I can... Uh, get my fuck on. Tonight if I'm still feeling it. Or uh, probably tomorrow morning. I've got some shit to do tomorrow. But... Not too much. What is that down there? What is that? Oh, it's just light coming through. Wait. Is that coming through here? No, it's connected to the piping. It's just not supposed to. To. That's weird that they cut the hole there, but it still shines through. Alright. Whatever. That's the game. Yeah, doing much, much better than I ended last night. And uh, feeling a little bit more in control. I mean, you're really out of control when you don't have those vehicles. Crazy subjects of conversation tonight. Lots of advice in the chat room. You guys are uh, like peas in a pod in there. I think Beast World is your new daddy, Yeet. And um, you can look for child support checks in the mail. You guys go fuck yourselves. I'm out of here. It says, hate sec. Follow me and suck me off. I'll give you the business. Listen to Hate Radio. It's coming out soon. Fuck off, guys. Peace. <laughs>